Why are you so excited? Why are you laughing at me? Is this not the sickest shirt that you've ever seen? That's pretty sick. Hello, Bobby Wallace. You're looking mighty fine behind the camera. Thank you. 10 out of 10. White claw in the fridge if you want one. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, today's a sick day. We're working on not a bluey vote today. What was it, like two or three weeks ago? We were, we were balls deep in this car. We did the full wrap. We cut the springs on it. I know I need coilovers. New wheels, the works. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Because they're so excited about Mexico? No, they don't know that we're going. So today, we are going, we're stepping back from the blue weight like we discussed in yesterday's video because we gotta fix the oil leak and we can't fix the oil leak till we fix the oil leak because we need the parts to fix it. We're getting back to work on this car. Her name is Smoke. What we got going on is some light work. Let me show you guys a little something real quick. We put new headlights on the car maybe a week ago. These are the V-Land headlights. We also did the V-Land tails and they look sick, right? Beautiful. What's better though, if I can find the app. And not only that, watch this. That's gangster. So what we're doing is we're taking the VLAN headlights and we are modifying them with a set of lit lights, demon eyes. So the demon eyes are in the projector themselves, right? Those are sick. Lit lights also has the kit and it's for the boomerangs themselves. And there's one more thing that we're gonna be doing inside of there. I'll show you guys when we pull them apart. This clear piece right here, not very flowy, right? Then you come look at this car, it's all black. I think that looks so much better. And there's no light or any sort. So blacking it out only makes it look better and you don't lose any sort of performance. Baby, I look like a mess today. You do? Yeah. The, I'm pretty sure those are my glasses. No. Let me just try them on real quick. Do I look gangster? Yes. Okay, all right. Let's get this uh, car. We gotta move this 10, the cool 10, and then we have to move the cooler 10 out, flip it around. Her name's Ava. No, 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 I know. The cooler 10 is the gray one. No. I gotta admit though, that thing Jared was driving yesterday, or a couple, two, a couple days ago. You let him drive it? Yeah. It, <laughs> Did he break something? Yeah. What? Um, I think a tire got flat or something. <laughs> but no, like driving down the road, that thing looks insane. One cold start for the boys coming right up. Okay, we don't need to do anything crazy to get the lights off. Just hit these little buttons right here on the JDC quick releases. And then there are a few bolts up top. The bumper comes off and then we gotta pull the headlights off. Now, one more thing I forgot to add. We are actually, so as of right now, we don't have the low beams or any sort of headlight bulbs in there. We bought the VLANs. They didn't come with any sort of bulbs. We could have simply thrown in some halogen bulbs. We could have gone LED route. The VLANs have a specific spot on the bottom for our ballast that we bought to bolt right on. So it's a super clean setup, same exact setup we run on that car. Factory style ballast, the factory igniter cord, and then a factory D2S bulb. We're gonna tackle that at the same time. Everything that we're using today, I'll link down below along with these headlights if you guys wanna buy the headlights and then buy all the lit lights parts and just have the same exact setup that we run on both ends now. Super clean setup and it looks absolutely insane. I do have a discount code for all the lit lights parts. So the demonized and the color changing boomerangs. My discount code is dvnemo15 and it will save you 15% off. I'll have them linked down below with our discount code. Okay, so the headlights are removed. One at a time, we're gonna pull these things apart and modify them. So what we need to do to get them apart is bake them. Put them in the oven. We have our ghetto little home conventional oven over there. All right, 200 is the minimum. So 200 degrees, about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes usually is enough to get that glue warm so we can get the lens off the housing.
I really like to use these, I think they're like a panel clip plier. I'll link some down below, but these things are super handy for splitting headlights. Okay, that's probably the hardest part actually is separating the headlight. So this is what we're gonna be working on. This is the headlight housing and all that good stuff. We need to pull it apart. So there's four screws holding this outer cover on. Pop those screws off and this cover should slide off. Looks a little bit complicated back here, but trust me, it's not all that bad, especially after you do BMW stuff, which I'll never do again. This is simple. Just go ahead and unplug all the wiring. This right here, we can set aside for now. We don't need that right now. We need to do some work here. So this is what we're working with right now. These are the Evo 10 VLAND headlight kit, I guess you'd say. They're not all that expensive, $170. I know you get like $20 or so off with my code. But yeah, this is what we need for now. That box will be the demonized. We can deal with those later. So it looks like these are a newer updated version versus what we run on the half wrap Evo 10. And this appears to be even more high quality. We've never had a problem with the half wrap lights going out, but I think this is completely waterproof, sealed up, so we'll never have to worry about it. And we can mount it in the engine bay and it'll be all right. All right, so these two right here are gonna connect to our lights. These are the light boards that we need to install on this piece here. Very easy to do. And then if you come over here, we have a few wires we need to connect. Turn signal, it's all labeled. Turn signal, daytime running a light, and turn signal on the other headlight and then just a power and a ground and that should be it. So let's go ahead and get all of this wired up on here first. So we need one of these guys. There is going to be the bulb under here that we have to swap out and the bulb under here. So there's two screws on each of those. And everything is labeled. We just pulled this off and it shows R2. If we go on here on the lit lights, this one shows R2 and R1 and this one will show L1 and L2. So make sure you're using the correct parts for each side. We are having to pry these boards off. There's like some glue under there. A little bit of double side tape right here. They run all the way to the circuit board. Just grab some snips and I know it's a little sketchy, but cut those bad boys off. This wiring, all this stuff right here, we do not need. So these right here, simply just go right back on to where the factory stuff came off. And these are the nice color changing boards. Okay, just like that, we're all finished up. That's all you have to do pretty much as far as internal wiring goes for the boomerangs. This right here is just gonna connect to that driver that we were talking about earlier, the part that we have to connect to the power and ground. So we need to run this out the back of the headlight to connect it. And then all this other wiring is gonna connect just how it came out of the headlight. So that piece is done. Let's move on to the demon eyes. So the demon eye sits right inside the projector bowl and these things are absolutely beautiful as well. These along with the boomerangs, complete game changer. If you're gonna do the boomerangs, you might as well do the demonize at the same time. They're not all that much more expensive. Also, I just realized probably the coolest thing or one of the cooler things that's ever, ever happened. If you buy the Evo 10 LED color boards for the VLANs, check this out. Little QR code, open YouTube, and look whose video pops up. Hey, it's my video. That is so freaking cool. 
Big shout out to Lit Lights for actually using my video. Pretty awesome. Okay, so as far as the demon eyes go, there are a few more parts. Instead of just one Bluetooth controller, which is this guy right here, we do also have the demon eye drivers. If you forget these, you will immediately burn out the demon eye. And it's a little bit confusing because these can, these can connect right to the Bluetooth controller. Like the plug-in works, but please, please, please do not do that. I've had my fair share of times doing that and they only last like two seconds. How it's gonna go is demon eye, driver, demon eye, driver. So say that's driver's side, that's passenger side. Driver to our controller, driver to the other harness on the controller, power in a ground, fuse goes in the inline fuse holder and we'll be finished up. So let's go ahead and tackle this part right here. We need to figure out where these guys are going to be mounted. These things are dummy easy to mount inside of the VLANs. Let's go ahead and pop those zip ties off, unravel our harness. Everything does have to come out the backside of the headlight and the easiest place to do it is through this rubber grommet right here. So let's run that out back and check this out. 100% perfect fit right inside the VLAN headlight. You see those little two mounts right there? It's like it's meant to be. Go ahead and screw that in. Make sure the demon eye is underneath this plastic ring if it's above it, like that. It's probably not, you know what, Never mind. I think that should clear fine. I don't think we're gonna need to put it underneath that projector ring. So let's get that screwed in and that's pretty much all there is to it. Finish up the wiring, get the satellite back together. We should be good. Okay, so the same place that we ran the demon eye wire, we're also gonna run the wire for the boomerang. So we need to clip that zip pad right there, pop it out where this cap goes on, and we can get this bolted back on to here with all of these wires plugged back into those wires. So I was talking about this clear piece earlier. We can wrap that or paint it. I think it looks so much better when it's all black. So I'm gonna pop it out real quick and get this piece wrapped gloss black just to match this whole housing. Because as you can see guys, there's no light under it. So there's no sense in having this clear piece in there. Out of all of our vinyl wrap that we have, we don't have any gloss black, which kind of sucks. This headlight is pretty much ready to go back together. As you can see, the all black look, I like it a lot. I do always like to add, in addition to the factory seal and just a little bit of this Morimoto resealing glue. I'll have the sub link down below, but you don't need to put it on that thick if you're applying it along with the factory sealant. So what I always do is just stretch it out like that. And, uh, cause you don't want it like squeezing out of the edges a ton. So stretch it out a little bit, run it inside this groove down here. And this will make sure we never have any sort of condensation get in these beautiful headlights. Okay, this thing is ready to go back in the oven. About 10 minutes, once again, 200 degrees. Get this thing completely seated down back together, get the four screws back in, and then we can move on to the other side headlight. All right guys, let me show you what we're gonna do for this back cover and how we're gonna get this thing completely sealed up with the wires coming through. So you really have two options. Option one, you can cut a little slot in this rubber grommet right here and then put some RTV sealant on it. It's not all that clean. Or you can do this, check this out.
This guy right here was a complete perfect fit. And how it works is when you screw this down, so if you take that off, I'll show you guys. There's a rubber seal in there. And when you screw it down, it forms to whatever is inside of that. So for example, we run that wire through and now it's a watertight fit. So these things are super handy. I'll go ahead and have these guys linked down below as well. Before we put the satellite back on the car, we need to get to have a bulb installed along with the ballast and the igniter cord. So let me grab those parts. Kind of messed up a little bit. I was trying to order these ballasts and bulbs and igniter cords, all that with the pigtail. So we need to, I'm gonna go ahead and order some up and I'll link the proper stuff down below for you guys just so you don't run into the same problem as us. But what we're doing, this is the factory wiring on the headlight. I'm gonna pull out both of these connectors so there's a blue and a black. I'm not sure which one goes to which, but I'm just gonna slip those connectors right there onto the two little prongs, just so we can use these lights for now. And whenever the pigtails show up with a proper connector on there, we can splice them in, make it look all nice, clean, and factory. All right, so here is our ballast, and that thing bolts perfectly right on the bottom of the VLAND headlight, but we do need to drill a hole, and as you can see, it kind of marks already where we need to drill the hole. So I have our hole saw, which we should have definitely done this while the headlight was still apart when we were doing all the other lit light stuff, but this guy is a one and a half inch hole saw, so I'm gonna start drilling this thing. I'm gonna hold it upside down so we don't get any stuff inside the headlight, but for the next one, drill this hole while it's apart. These two wires here, we need to run through the headlight and they have to come out that hole we just drilled. That's how beautiful the hole looks, nice OEM. And then this here igniter cord has to run through the headlight as well. So this guy plugs in to the bottom of the ballast and then that ballast is gonna bolt on and this goes on to the back of the bulb. Okay, our first headlight is 100% complete. I know our wiring going to the ballast is a little bit ghetto. That will definitely work for now, but it's gonna be obviously much cleaner when we have the proper wiring connector on. That's a complete finished look. That's how the wires look coming out of the back. One is for obviously the demon eye. The other is for the boomerang. Let's do a little side by side. Overall, they look the same, but that blacked out section is just one of those little personal touches. And I think it looks much cleaner. So there it is clear, there she is black. Beautiful. All right, let's run through, get this one all finished up, and then we need to move on to all the wiring. So we have wiring for both the boomerang and the demonite that we need to get situated. All right, we're 100% buttoned up with our headlights. These things turned out absolutely amazing. They don't really look much different than before other than the black little side marker clear section. Of course, the biggest game changer is gonna be when we turn the lights on. So let's go ahead and get these things mounted back up on the car. It's just gonna be a quick fit up, get all the wiring situated and make sure everything that we just did works. If you guys want, if you've never done wiring stuff before, like building headlights and whatnot, I would highly recommend doing this before you put the lens back on just in case you mess something up with the wiring. I hope I didn't. I've done it before on that car, so I, th I have a fairly decent idea of how everything works. So this here is the Bluetooth controller for the demonize. Remember, don't forget the drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug those in right now so I don't forget. We can extend these harnesses later on, cut the zip tie if we need. But for now, I just wanna make sure everything works. Put those in there. This 
Same goes for this guy as well. We do have to tap in to our turn signal and our DRL wire. So that turn signal can run over there. Once again, this is all temporary. And then turn signal and DRL can be tapped in on the driver's side. Okay, turn signal is very, very simple. So this goes to, on the headlight, it's gonna connect to our yellow wire. So yellow to yellow. And I'm just gonna use these quick splice connectors. These things will make life fairly simple. All right, my friends, we just got everything plugged in as far as like the power and ground goes. And right when you plug them in, they start making some cool colors. So the apps you need are, the first one is LED Hue. This is gonna control the boomerangs. So the fresh brand new name is SP110E. Go ahead and connect to that. And as you can see, we can change these guys any color we want. And then the app for the demonize is magic light. New device, add device, confirm, make sure these things work. As you guys can see, everything works perfect. So I'm gonna run through, clean up all of this wiring, get the headlights back on the car and we can pull her outside. And when it gets a little bit more dark, we can see how good this thing looks. Let's get this thing finished up. Everything is finished up. And here is the final look. Red on red always looks super sick, but we can literally do any freaking color that we want. The options are freaking endless, guys. All right, let's pull this thing outside real quick, see how she looks out in the dark, and maybe see how she looks next to her big brother. That is insane. Some red wheels on this car would look pretty wild, in my opinion. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a day right there. Everything that we used in today's episode, I will link down below. The lights, the ballasts, the lit lights parts, all of the tools and supplies that we needed to get these things done and built and looking absolutely insane. I'll have a link down below. And once again, they are the 100% identical, complete setup that we run on this car as well. Don't forget about the discount code that will see be 15% off of anything at Lit Lights, not just the parts that we just installed, but any other parts that they sell on their site, DV Nemo 15 will see be 15% off. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the setup on Smoke. This car is turning out better than I expected. I love it. I love this thing. It looks really good. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.